Hello my dear YouTube subscribers and YouTube explorers, welcome to my channel. Today's video is to show where you need to go in order to change your security questions and answers. In order to do that, you still need to know your current, present security questions and answers that you already generally use. So this video is only useful if you decide for some reason to change your current existing security questions and answers, maybe because you feel um, that somebody maybe saw it or that you were in a public place and somebody might um, overseen it when you were logging in. Uh, basically, this is the time um, when you just want to update your security questions and answers kind of to um, reset it to be exact so once you log in into your home page which you already have to answer one of your security questions in order to get into your home page account uh, you will see this screen this is my test account again so right now you are at the account home page there is no applications here because, of course, like I said, it's a test account. Uh, so where you need to go? Account profile. This is where you're going to click. At the beginning of the account profile, you see your email address, language preference. Then you can go down. You can even update this. There is a button that says update. So now this is the important part. Reset your security questions. So before you even start telling you what's going to happen, you need to answer one of your security questions in order to access it. If you can't answer the first security question, we will ask you another one of your four questions. If you can't answer any of your security questions, we will lock your account. You will not be able to recover your account online. So. If I click on this button here, reset your security question, I'm going to be prompt to uh, answer one of the uh, security questions. And once you pass that, uh, you're going to see all these open fields, just like when you started to create your new GCK account. It's the same uh, scenario. So now you need to type in your security questions and answers for uh, in total. And then you click here, reset your security questions. So next time when you log in with your username that you generally use and your password, you're going to get into the window where you're going to ask, uh, be, be asked again for the security question and answer. So these will be the new uh, questions and you will need to know your answers. So while I'm still on the screen, I want to suggest that at this point you take photo with your phone or digital camera, whatever is handy. If you don't have a camera on your phone for some reason, please write down exactly as you typed in your security questions and answers. I am seeing that so many of you cannot remember or find file where did you got these write down maybe you thought you can remember them don't play a game with your brain sometimes we are overwhelmed and we forgot things not because we want it it's just because the life gets um it's just so many things are happening especially with current situation we get a little bit too excited and forgetful so no offense just be smart uh, take a photo at this point then once you got that photo if you do this with your phone I am suggesting you to send that photo to your email account and then on your email account create a folder with important files or Canada files or whatever is easy for you to guess where is this photo I would also write this down in some sort of notebook where you keep important stuff, phone numbers, email addresses, and other accounts that you need to access. Like I have a small notebook where I'm writing stuff down uh, from different websites because since I came to Canada, I'm using so many of their applications for the health card, 
for the uh, driver's license. So basically they have so many, so many um, websites that you can utilize while in Canada. So I don't remember any of those. I just write them down and I always go back to my notebook when I need to go to submit my taxes, check up on my addresses because once you move in Canada, you have to update your files, you have to update your driver's license. So all that is pretty much online. So write down your stuff, take a photo. If you, if you prefer taking photos, it's up to you. I'm just trying to stop you at this point and tell you record it record it because you don't want to remember everything. Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful. Bye from Ella.